to talk around the world one of these days. I mean, perhaps even broadcast electrical power as you spoke of at Niagara. Uh, no. Uh, I do not foresee any developments along that line. I give uh, Tesla much credit for his imagination, but uh, he is a, a visionary. I would say Marconi is the man to watch. He's bound to perfect his system of wireless telegraphy sooner or later. Interior Johnson dining room evening. Tesla at the Johnson's dinner table in the midst of their meal. The whole family is present. Catherine watches Tesla like a hungry hawk. Marconi, moron, honey. What, what, what was his name? Another copycat. That's why it's of utmost importance I design my wireless system in complete secrecy. Ah, and what lucky millionaire would be the proud investor in your system? Ah, why indeed. Which of New York's millionaires is the most titanic of them all? And which same millionaire has recently professed an interest in the wireless art? You don't mean Morgan. J.P. Morgan? Well, you may as well deal with the devil himself. My dear Luca, Faust is fiction. Besides, uh, I won't need to solicit him. He will come to me. Catherine is about to say something, but instead thinks better of it. Exterior street day. A newspaper boy hawks the daily news, war with Spain. Battleship Maine sunk in Havana Harbor. President McKinley declares war on Spain. Tesla is lost in thought as he walks. He rounds a corner and stops dead in his tracks. Exterior Houston Street, day. Tesla spots Catherine, so Houston Street, I should say. Tesla spots Catherine staking out his lab. He ducks out of sight, slips around the building of the fire escape, jumps up and starts climbing. Dear Mr. Tesla, I happened by your laboratory the other day. As you went in, I awaited your arrival with the high hope I could speak to you of an urgent matter. I have had a wonderful experience of late, a connection, perhaps, in which I'm sure I felt your You of all persons ought to know something of it, for you could not fail to have a scientific interest in it. I call it thought transference for want of a better word. I have often wished to speak to you of this, but when I am with you, I never say the things I had intended. I seem to be capable of only one thing. Catherine finally gives up and walks away.